Hey, what's going on, everyone? James Van Emmers here, and welcome back to another YouTube video. And yesterday, I seem to have missed the news that the Big Brother 25 cast is now officially out. And, um, yeah, the season starts tomorrow. Now, the season got delayed from the usual July um, beginning because of the wor writer's worker strike, which I believe is still ongoing. So that seems to be... Apparently, that might cr collapse or, like... At mess up the scheduling with uh, Survivor and the Amazing Race, but um, that's going to be for another time. And um, yeah, all we have right now really is from multiple sources is basically the names, where they're from, and their occupation. So if I can find their bi biographies, I'll let you know, and then I'll read them to you guys, just so that I can get out my opinions on what I think is what I think is going to how each player is going to do. Now, last year I was way off on my predictions. Big Brother 24 was one of the most controversial seasons, and some of the people that I thought were going to win, oh my god, I had no idea if this it, it would turn out that way. So, keep in mind, this is just my predictions, and if some of my predictions don't age well, like last year's, then um, please take it with a grain of salt, okay? I, I don't want, hopefully not everyone understands. Anyways, let's start off with America Lopez, a 27-year-old from Edinburgh, Texas, who, who is, and who's currently living in Brooklyn, and she's a medical receptionist. Hmm. Now, I think America is someone who's going to be on the middle of the road. I think she'll make it to, like, to mid before she gets booted off. And her name is America, too. Maybe she's trying to use that into becoming America's favorite house guest. <laughs> uh, but seriously, that would be a good strategy, though. Though, if it is intentional, I'm not sure if America would, if the uh, audience would respect it. So, yeah, but I think in her game-wise, I think if she can play her cards right, she might make it to the end, but I think she's going to be in the mid, like in the middle of an alliance. I think she's going to be just a follower. That's that's just my opinion. Blue Kim, age 25. Oh, I like the name, Blue. From Riverside, California, and she's currently living in New York. She's a brand strat- Oh, a brand strategist, you say? Okay, yeah, I could totally see Blue trying to make some alliances and making big moves in this game. Being a brand strategist, like, surely you have to come up with a strategy. So she's going, she she might be the brain of the operation. She could potentially win or make it to, like, to the final three, maybe, if she plays her cards right and if her cover is not blown. She would pro maybe, I don't think it'd be good to tell everyone you're a brand strategist. Though, I'm sure she won't tell everyone that she's a brand strategist, because you know how strategists... Yeah, that's a threat. I think if Blue can play her card right, she can make it pretty far. Now, for comp beast, maybe she might she might win a few competitions, but I don't think she'll be a comp beast. I don't know. Bowie Jane, a 45-year-old from Melbourne, Australia. Ooh, an Australian, that's awesome. And she's living in Los Angeles, and she's a DJ. Hmm. I actually kind of do see Bowie as a potentially strong competitor. I don't know why. Her appearance does make me believe that. I think she could make it. She looks like she has the strength to be able to take on the challenges. I could totally see her do very well in challenges. And she might, maybe she might get in trouble a few times. But I think if she, I have a good feeling that she can make it far in this game. If she can win enough challenges to seal the deal. But... Whether or not she'll be a challenge beast, I don't know. Maybe. I could totally see that within her. I think she could do pretty well, as as long as she plays her cards right, of course. Cameron Harding. Hmm. A stay-at-home dad at age 34. Okay, from Eastman, Georgia. Now, my view on Cameron Harding. I don't have too many strong opinions on Cameron Harding. Um, by the way, yes, I'm literally reading through the cast for the first time, so... I'm just giving you my raw thoughts as of right now. So, Cameron Harding. I don't know. I have a weird feeling that Cameron Harding might be an early boot. So, I don't know. I feel like Cameron might be someone who could potentially be an easy scapegoat on the first week. I, I really want to be wrong on this. I really do. But I have this weird, bad feeling. But, um, yeah. Yeah. We haven't read the strategies, the biographies of the people yet, so it's too soon to tell. Next is Corey Wurtenberger. 
Oh, wait, aren't you... I, isn't this person related to, like, Zach Wartenberger from Survivor 43, 44? I, I think it was. I I forgot which season, but, um, yeah, Zach was, like, one of the earlier... One of the one was like the first person to officially get voted out. Oh yeah, that's right. I think it's Survivor Forty Four. Yeah, Survivor Forty Four because Bruce got medically injured and Zach was like the first to get his torch. No, anyways. Yeah. Okay, I could totally see Corey potentially get a first boot because of Zach if they are related. I could be wrong if they're not related. So I actually haven't. So yeah, I. I'm sure Corey might learn from Zach's mistakes if they are related, and um, whether or not he'll go far, I don't know. He could potentially be an early boot if he doesn't do well. If if he comes out as too strong, I don't. I don't think he'll come out as too strong, but I could totally see why others would think that. So, Felicia Cannon, a 63-year-old from Tacoma, Washington. She currently lives in Kennesaw, Georgia, and she's a real estate agent. Hmm. Felicia. Yeah, I think Felicia could potentially be another scapegoat. And it's not her fault, though. Apparently, that's how... Sometimes sometimes in the games, that's how old people get seem to get thrown. Because they're easy targets. But I don't know about Felicia. I feel like Felicia can be a great source for wisdom. And a... And hit capable of calming situations down. Which after last year, boy, we need some of that. We will we do need some of that. I think Felicia could be a voice of reasoning. And I really and um it could potentially bite her in the butt. Honestly, I hope that doesn't happen because um regards to last year. I know I'm making a lot of references to BB24, but um yeah, that's kind of how BB24 was still fresh in our minds, and that's kind of why I'm still thinking about that when it comes to BB25. So, I think Felicia Cannon could be a good source of reasoning, and whether or not she'll make it far, I think we'll have to wait and see. I don't know where, how she's going to do exactly, but um, she's going to be a good source of reason. Hassan Gouli. All right, from Minneapolis, Minnesota, and she's currently living in Seattle, Washington, and a ge geriatric physician. Okay, so geriatric physician. Okay, basically, is basically like the healer of the group. He's going to provide aid to those that 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 are in need. And um, strategically, hmm, given the amount of old people, I don't know. I could totally see him potentially forming an alliance with the old people. Maybe I think he can get. I think he, I think he's gonna play a really good social game. I have faith. I don't know why. I have this strange feeling that he's gonna play a good social game. But that's all I know from my guesstimations. I I don't know if he's gonna play a good social game, but um, that's what my I'm predicting. So um, yeah. With, with that being said, now we're going on to Izzy Gleitcher. A 32-year-old from New York and is a professional flutist. Wow, I never thought I'd meet a professional flutist, but, um, yeah. Look, I'm getting these weird senses of Izzy being non-binary, but, um, please don't cancel me if I'm wrong. I I have these weird, not, weird vibes of non-binaries or whatever, binaries within her. I don't know why. I feel... I could be wrong. Please don't cancel me, YouTube. Please don't take this video down. This is just a guess. I could be wrong. But we're going to... With Izzy? How do I feel that Izzy is going to do? Izzy? Maybe, um... Hmm. I could totally see Izzy being a good strategist. Maybe she might form a... No, I shouldn't I shouldn't assume their gender. I, because I don't know. <sighs> God damn. Anyways... Izzy, I think Izzy might do, might form a really good strategy of forming an, a massive alliance. I think Izzy could potentially be a great leader. And, um, do I think Izzy could make it far? If Izzy plays, he's the, plays the cards right, I think Izzy could potentially make it to the end of the game. And I could totally see Izzy winning this. I, I have this weird feeling that Izzy might be well, more well-rounded than some of the other people that I've seen. Based on appearances, of course, not really based on biography yet. I'm sure that might change my opinions, but 
yeah, I think Izzy could potentially be a well-rounded player. I could totally see Izzy being a winner in this. Anyways, next is Jag Baines. Jag, Jag, Jag. I like the name Jag Baines from Omak, Washington, and is a truck company owner. Now, Jag, hmm. I think I could totally see Jag play like a decent social game, but um, I don't know. I don't think he can form enemies, but um, hmm. Well, I mean, I guess. How do I feel about Jag? Jag, I don't really have strong opinions for Jag. I think he could potentially go along with an a potential follower in an alliance. I think Jag might be able to make it to the halfway point, but uh, I can totally see Jag being blindsided. So, yeah, I'm I'm a little worried for Jag. Next is Jared Fields, a 25-year-old from Norwalk, Kentucky, and is an exterminator. Ooh, I love the exterminator. Yeah, I have... Oh, man, I have this bad... I have a bad feeling for Jared that he might be one of the first to go. He might be a pre-jury boot. Ah, oh, God, I hope I'm wrong, but... I have a... I have these weird vibes of being an early boot for Jared. I have a feel. I also have a good feeling that he might get screwed over a twist... That's how I'm feeling for him right now. So, uh, yeah, no, I'm I'm a little concerned for Jared. Next is Kirsten Elwin, a 25 year old originally from Orlando, Florida, via Dominica, living in Houston, Texas, and is a molecular biologist. Oh, okay, molecular biologist. Okay, so she's got the brains. So she's gonna play a smart game, presumably. So, could she make it far? I think if she goes in an all-girls alliance, I think she could potentially make it far. But even if she doesn't, right? I think she could still make it far if she makes the moves. I think she's willing to take big moves if necessary. Oh, hang on a second. Alright, guys. Yeah, sorry about that. My phone was ringing. And, um, yeah. I think she's got... Kirsten might be able to be... I think Kirsten can be a good strategist, potentially make it far... But I think she might be, I have a good feeling that she might be so close, but I think she might get sniped at either the, between the final three and the final five. I think she's capable of going very far. So, Luke Valentine. Hmm. I am getting cocky vibes. I don't know why. I have, I'm getting these weird cocky feeling that Luke might be cocky. But, um, but I could totally see him being a nice guy, too. I can tell that he's gonna make moves that are un that are unintentionally consequential. I think Luke is pretty. I th it looks like Luke is a very nice person. I think he might get this appearance of being a villain, even though he's not. Somewhat like a ta some like Taylor from last year. I think Luke could potentially be a big underdog in this, but he's an illustrator from Coral Springs, originally from Weston. Yeah, I could totally see an underdog story within Luke. And I could say the, totally the same thing for Matt Klotz, um, a 27-year-old from Cameron Park living in Baton Rouge. And he's a Dev Olympics gold medalist. Okay, so he, this man is really is a, is an athlete. So Matt is going to be a... I think Matt could totally be a challenge beast and an underestimated threat. So I think Matt is going... I think Matt could totally win challenges like Michael from last year. I know I'm making a lot of BB24 references. I'm sorry. Anyways, the Deaf Olympics. Do I feel like the... Do I think he can win? Well, um... Well, he can't go winning challenges all the time now because, um... He could become too big of a threat and get... And potentially get voted off. He needs to be smart. I think he can win, be a comp beast. But he needs to be strategic on his wins if he wants to make it far in this game. And, um... Yeah. And if he does get underestimated, that that's going to be great for him because I could totally see him winning this game if he wins when he needs to. And I have a good feeling that he's going to win when he needs to. So next is McCall Hayes, a 30-year-old from St. Louis, Missouri, living in Upper Marlboro, Maryland, and is a political consultant. Okay, so another smart competitor. So she's going to play more of a social and strategic game. I could totally see her making it past the merge, but I think she might be the first or second jury boot member. 
That's how I'm feeling right now. Next is Red Utley. From a 37-year-old from Gatlinburg, Tennessee, and originally in sales. For, for Red, I could totally see one of two things happening. Either he's going to be a likable player that everyone loves, or a controversial player that people will hate. And I don't like thinking that, but that's where the vibe, where my vibes are right now. And, um... From the looks of his photo, I think he could be a really great guy like Frenchie from BB23 and Donnie from BB16. I just hope there's no I just hope there's no controversy that happens that will screw Red over. So yeah. Based on how he's gonna do, I think it's too early to tell how he's gonna do. He could potentially be an early boot if he messes up early on, but um he could make it to the jury, but I think it's going to take a lot of work from Red. So, and last is Riley Smedley, a 24-year-old originally from Portland, Maine, living in Nashville, Tennessee, and Riley Smedley. Hmm. I could see her as like a mid player, possibly between an early boot to an er to a between a late pre-jury boot to an early jury boot. I think she's going to be a, here for the ride, but um, I don't see many moves coming from her. But I think she's capable. She might be able to pull off a surprise. I can totally see that from her. But, um, yeah, I think that's around it. Anyways, guys, those are, guys, those are just my guesses. Um, we'll just have to wait to watch this show to see what happened for real. And if I can find the biographies during, before the show starts, I'll read them out to you, and my opinions might change, or maybe the cast might change, who knows, but anyways, guys, hopefully you all have enjoyed, I'll see you guys later, peace.